Where did you find this kid? Yeah, Jalex Hunt. Well, you didn't know about Houston Christian because up until about a year ago, they were Houston Baptist. Ah, so, got it. Okay, thank so you. So they switched to Houston Christian. But uh, yeah, Jalex was a guy that was on our, our on our radar over the summer. Um, we'll start doing it here, cranking up in June. We do small school Saturdays every summer, uh, every every Saturday in the summer. Jalex was one of those guys we pro- profiled last year and really has a cool background. Um, you know, he was up in the Ivy League. He was at Cornell. He was he was a backup safety. Um, so then he goes to Houston Christian. The kid keeps growing. He just keeps growing into his frame and he's, he's big and long and, um, you know, had a great year there. We saw him play live over at Southeast Louisiana, which isn't too far from Mobile here. Uh, sent a scout over there to see him and uh, I know he had a really good year and I think what he showed here at the senior bowl a couple things that that really make you excited about the player is he's got this really nice long athletic frame and then for a former DB he showed an incredible level of physicality Um, when they were doing like edge set drills in the run game I remember I want to say it was Javon Foster from Missouri like they came off that first rep and it was loud um and that's the, i mean you can't coach that like this kid's got an innate physicality to him that that you're going to need um to be an edge player in the nfl and, and there was no back down from the kid um he came here he was really excited to compete against the big boys and then and then he's got some natural pass rush to him too i think he had six and a half seven sacks this year at, at houston christian but when you saw him during the week like some of the some of the natural counter stuff when he gets cut off um it's hard, that stuff's hard to coach so he's got an element of power and physicality He's got so he's got kind of a natural rush to him. So I'm talking two or three years down the line, probably not as a rookie. You might really have something. Greg, let's turn our attention to defense and a guy that I was hoping you would see. And I asked you, you said, you know, I'm going to take a look at him. And, and he's got a unique name. And he's a guy that I not had not known about it at the senior bowl until someone told me about him. That's Jalex Hunt from Houston Christian, the yep. former Houston Baptist. What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, he's a fascinating guy. He went to Cornell first, and he was a walk-on. So, um, mm-hmm. and um, safety. He was a safety at Cornell, and in college, he came out of South Florida, um, where he lived, and he was a corner and wide receiver in high school. Walked on at Cornell, where he played safety, and then Houston Christian moved him to an outside linebacker role. Now, this guy's one of the most fascinating prospects in the draft. I knew nothing about him until the combine, and he had a great combine, and his testing measurables are crazy good. Um, But I got to tell you, I mean, this guy is, he's long, he's athletic, he's got emerging pass rush traits that are still to a large degree in their infancy. Um, You know, he doesn't have a big toolbox at this point in time, but you look at his length, his natural athleticism and explosiveness, that's high level stuff. I mean, this guy's, this guy's athletically capable of anything. This is a guy. And I always, I always think about this, that if, if he did played exactly the same way and he was in the sec, we'd be talking about him as a top 50 pick in the draft for sure. All right, Greg, this is part two of our conversation with you previewing the NFL draft. This is going to focus on day and two or three prospects that the Eagles have shown interest in just for people to know the Eagles are slated to have two picks in the second round, 50 and 53, no picks in the third. They have a fourth rounder, three fifth rounders and a six. So let's start with some of these guys uh, on the offensive line in particular, Kansas state guard, Cooper BB. Tell us what you think of him. Cause he came and took a visit to the Novacare complex. Yeah. BB. He's, he's an interesting guy. I mean, he's, he's played a, ton of football i mean you're talking about a guy that had 48 starts in 51 games at kansas state so he's played a lot of football he's he's kind of a short stocky offensive guard prospect um you know with that frame and his short arms his game's built on strength and power more than athleticism and movement um he probably better projects as a gap scheme guy than his own guy just because he's not necessarily a big time athlete um you know you you want him you want him really to go after people right on the line of scrimmage. I mean, he's not a high level athlete. He's got enough lateral movement though in pass pro he can mirror, he can redirect. Um, He's really smart. He saw things really, really well. You can tell he's played a lot of football. Um, He's just one of those country strong kids, technically sound assignment sound plays with great awareness. Normally those guys play in the league and normally they start at some point. Mm. Greg, let's turn our attention to defense and a guy that I was hoping you would see. And I asked you, you said, you know, I'm going to take a look at him. 
and, and he's got a unique name and he's a guy that I not had not known about it at the senior bowl until someone told me about him. It's Jalex Hunt from Houston Christian, the yep. former Houston Baptist. What are, what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, he's a fascinating guy. He went to Cornell first and he was a walk-on. So um mm-hmm. and um safety. He was a safety at Cornell and in college he came out of South Florida um where he lived and he was a corner and wide receiver in high school walked on to Cornell where he played safety and then Houston Christian moved him to an outside linebacker role now this guy's one of the most fascinating prospects in the draft I knew nothing about him until the combine and he had a great combine and his testing measurables are crazy good um but I got to tell you I mean this guy is he's long he's athletic He's got emerging pass rush traits that are still to a large degree in their infancy. Um, You know, he doesn't have a big toolbox at this point in time, but you look at his length, his natural athleticism and explosiveness, that's high level stuff. I mean, this guy's, this guy's athletically capable of anything. This is a guy. And I always, I always think about this, that if, if he did played exactly the same way and he was in the SEC, we'd be talking about him as a top 50 pick in the draft for sure. Mm. Mm. That's, that's but great because, stuff. you know, he played at Houston Christian and because of his background. Um, I mean, this guy, I'll be fascinated to see what, how his career develops. Cause you're talking about a guy that's six, four, two fifty plus his, you know, his, like I said, his athletic measurables are off the charts. This guy is a, great looking athlete greg you know what's crazy is that he had some sort of weird growth spurt at 19 or 20 years old that's why he that's one of the reasons why when he transferred he got moved to edge because as you you talked about he played other positions that you didn't have to have great size and all of a sudden like because we were talking to, to uh uh someone in scouting for another team jeff who jeff and i knew and he goes this is the guy that if you would have told me two years ago this guy wouldn't have been drafted now he could be as high as a third round pick. It's really a remarkable story. We'll see what happens though. Oh yeah, I mean he's his, his arm length is over thirty four. He ran a four six four. I mean this guy's vertical jump was great. I mean this guy this guy's just a great athlete. I mean, you know he's a little raw, you know, yeah. and and who knows? Okay. But but uh, this guy's going to play in the league for sure.